Welcome to Hoffmann Photography. My name is Rainer and in this video we'll talk about one fundamental difference between our eye and a camera that many beginners are not aware of. A camera is often compared to the human eye. And that analogy is not too bad. After all, our eye has a lens, like a camera. It has a variable opening, the iris, that works pretty much like the aperture of a lens. And it has some light-sensitive material inside that captures the light. Actually, that would be a pretty good description of a camera. Except that a camera needs something that our eyes don't need. A shutter. Let's do a little experiment. Close your eyes and now open them. As soon as you open your eyes, you see a perfectly exposed image that's neither too dark nor too bright. And no matter how long you look at the scene, the brightness does not change, provided the illumination of the scene does not change. You could look at it for hours. Our eye and, more importantly, our brain somehow has the ability to always produce a perfect exposure. A camera, on the other hand, is a light gatherer. It gathers photons, so to speak, and adds them up during the exposure time, like this. At the beginning of the exposure, the image is dark, but when more and more photons hit the sensor, the image becomes brighter and brighter. And as long as the shutter is open, the sensor keeps collecting photons and at some point the image will be way overexposed. It's pretty much like filling a glass with water. In this analogy, the image is correctly exposed only when the glass is full to the brim. If the glass is not full, the image would be too dark. Now the image would be correctly exposed. But if you keep pouring water into the glass, it will spill over and this corresponds to an overexposed image. So we must terminate the exposure at a certain point to get the brightness of the image just right. Or to use the water glass analogy, to have a full glass with no overspill. Unfortunately, there is no way to decide at what time the exposure is correct, because we can't see it in the viewfinder. But that's why our cameras have an exposure meter. It's a pity that our cameras aren't as good as our brains at producing perfectly exposed images. On the other hand, thanks to the fact that the sensor is a light gatherer, we can show things in our photos that our eyes simply can't see. And that's a nice idea for another video. As always, thanks for watching.